In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you 10 different apps that you can use as an Uber and Lyft driver to make more money. Okay, when you're driving for Uber and Lyft, you wanna make sure you're getting the top dollar per hour that you're out there driving, and also make sure that you're saving money too. You're not spending too much money on gas, wait, waiting around, waiting for rides, all right? So without further ado, let's jump right in, okay? First one, this is an app that you need to get, a website you need to sign up for, it's called Play Octopus. They will send you a tablet in the mail. Once you apply with our link below, they're pretty much nationwide now. They'll send you a tablet for you to put in your car. It comes with a data plan, it's free, and your passers will use it to play games. You as a driver, when all the, when every time a little ad pops up in between the games, you make money. It's not annoying for your drivers, okay? I've done out, I've used it probably on over 100 rides. My passengers loved it. I got one person who complained because I personally couldn't figure out how to turn the sound off, but that was just because I was new, but I literally, there was a volume button that I just didn't know that you could turn it off. And he was like this really entitled, drunk, really rich guy from a really rich neighborhood. And I'm pretty sure it was his parents' house too, so he was going to complain whether or not I had that thing in my car or not. Okay, but he was the only one who complained. Play Octopus is a great way to make up to an extra 100 bucks a month. I highly recommend every single person watching this, if you're an active Uber or Lyft driver, to sign up immediately right now and get it. Because again, there's literally no reason not to. It's completely passive income. Okay, number two, and you'll actually notice your tips <laughs> go up because passengers think or assume that it's your tablet and they're like, oh, free entertainment? Oh, awesome. And they can win cash prizes by playing games to passengers. They're like, your tips are gonna go up too. So you probably make even more than 100 bucks a month. Number two, Survey Junkie, okay? You have to download this simply for when you're waiting in between rides, all right? Have you ever been driving Uber or Lyft and you finish your ride and you don't have another ride and you're just sitting there twiddling your thumbs, scrolling on Facebook, looking at TikTok videos? Don't do that, okay? It's a waste of time. Don't rot your brain. Fill out surveys. You can make money. It's really easy now. Survey Junkie is the best. Don't do the, don't go on Google and type in Survey Junkies or you'll probably find a bunch of million different pop-ups. Use our link below. You get a little sign-up bonus. We have a partnership with them, so it's legit. It's verified. You can make money. I've, I've made videos on my channel using it to make money, cashing out the money, making sure it's all legit. You can go watch that if you'd like. Or you can trust me, take my word for it, use the link below for Survey Junkie. Number three is Solo. Solo. You need to download Solo if you drive for Uber, Lyft, or any of the other, other gig apps simply for the mileage tracking feature. That could potentially save you thousands of dollars so you profit more, thousands of dollars more, because of the... Uh, uh, because of the accurate mileage tracking, okay? At the end of the year, when Uber and Lyft send you a 1099, they will typically send you a little report of all the miles you drove. However, those are only miles that you drive while you're giving rides or while you're online, I believe. And that mileage number, in my experience, was way lower than the actual miles I was driving because they don't take into account like, you know, at the end of the ride, like sometimes you log off and you need to drive to a, a busy area or like you log off, you go get food, you go get gas, you log off, you drive home, right? Those are technically, I mean, at least that's what I, I counted all that as business miles because I'm assuming, you know, I've sometimes ended the night like 45 minutes away and I'm like, I'm, it's 2 a.m. I'm not staying online. I log off, I drive home. That's a business mile because that's a commute to home. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Lyft and Uber ain't tracking those miles. So like, anyway, solo, want to make sure you track them. They also do guaranteed pay feature. You can check it out below. 
um, where if you go out and drive and you don't make you know good money, they'll actually pay you the difference. So you can sign up below for Solo, and they actually help you do your taxes. You can file your taxes in the app Solo, and they'll you know since they're tracking it all already, they make it really easy, so you don't have to do a bunch of um, paperwork. Um, you know, you don't need to do like TurboTax or anything. You could just do it with what they give you. Number four is TikTok Shop. TikTok Shop, again, this is something you need to do simply because it's the easiest way right now that you can start making like a thousand, two thousand bucks a month easily, no experience necessary, and you can do this while you're waiting in between rides. I actually just created a membership community uh, link below, and there's free access to join right now. Um, it should still be free by the time you're watching this, and you'll you I'll teach I teach you in there how to set it all up, how to start making money. It's really easy. I have over a million followers on TikTok. I've been doing TikTok for years. They just launched this new program called TikTok Shop. They're trying to compete with Amazon, and they make it really easy for people to make money with it. So link below to sign up for that. Again, you can get free access with that link uh, down below. Okay. And that's actually me teaching you how to do it, not some random guru online. <laughs> Te learn from somebody who actually does it and who actually, you know, has like a track record. Okay. Um, all right. Pa Para is the next one. Para is another, um, I believe they do mileage tracking too. And uh, it's like another rideshare assistant app. It's basically a way for you to um like combine your different apps that you use it's like for multi-apping there's another one too called maestro which is actually the next one on the list maestro you can maestro basically makes it so you can be online on multiple apps and you don't have to like log on or off if that makes sense so they basically learn how to create their software where it's like because i always recommend you know if you're waiting for a ride, turn on both Uber and Lyft, right? That way you're double online getting ride requests from both, so you're minimizing your wait time. But with Maestro, they basically make it that automatic, so you don't need to like be constantly going on and off and on and off and on and off. It just makes your, your life easier, right? Uh, the next one, Gas Buddy. Number seven, Gas Buddy. If you do, if you haven't made the switch to electric cars yet, you still gotta fill up gas, all right? I myself, I've been convinced I will no longer drive a gas-powered vehicle. I know, big shocker. I used to hate electric cars. Now, I hate gas-powered cars. I, you will not see me at the gas station probably ever again, unless I'm like renting a car or obviously driving like a friend's car or something or a family member's car. But I, um, I already got my thing installed in my garage. Plugging it in, baby, okay? It's... Come home every couple days, plug it in overnight, wake up, it's fully charged. I don't have to do oil changes anymore. I'm, I'm just like, it makes sense. I don't have to worry about my car breaking down. Um, it, they, the electric cars come with like an eight year warranty on the battery and I don't have to do oil change. I don't have to worry about oil leaks. I don't gotta do none of this. I don't even have to go to gas station more. I'm like, it's way cheaper. Anyways, if you're still paying for gas, Use Gas Buddy. You will find the nearest, closest, cheapest gas stations. Um, and also, a lot of people think, oh, you can't buy a cheap electric car. You can. There are, there are a lot of old electric cars, and even Hertz now is starting to sell some of their... Uh, Hertz bought a bunch of not only Teslas, but they also bought a bunch of Chevrolet Bolts. You can buy... You go to, If you go to HertzCarsales.com, it's not sponsored at all, obviously. <laughs> Just, I was looking around at buying a used electric cars. Um, you can buy a Chevy Bolt for 20,000 bucks with a car that only has 12,000 miles on it. And it's a 2023. It's, so it's one year old. Or you can buy one for 17 grand that has 50,000 miles on it. I'm like, these are, it's actually not bad at all. Or you can go on Carvana and buy like a used Ford Focus electric car. I believe Ford Focus electric 
Um, Carvana, you can buy a used Ford Focus. Get this, with 19,000 miles of 2016 for 13 grand. Or you can buy one for 11,000 bucks. This is a fully electric 2014 Ford Focus. And the range on that one is only 76 miles. So I actually would not recommend buying that one. How much, what's the range on the 2016 one? The 2016 uh, range, uh, 2016 Ford Focus electric range, that one I believe went up, right? That one went up to 115 miles. That one probably not good for driving Uber, but hey, anyways, I'm rambling at this point. The next one, Gridwise. Gridwise is a, a delivery assistant app and a rideshare assistant app. So you can also track your miles with this one too. It'll show you like how much you're making with the different apps. I really like Gridwise. There's so many different like rideshare assistant apps now. It's really cool that you can, you know, try out a few different ones, see which ones you like the best. And I have links below to all this stuff too. Flight Aware is the next one. I recommend doing, if you're, if you live near an airport, I recommend getting Flight Aware just simply because you can see when all the flights are coming in and, and leaving. So you don't like, you can kind of position your day to be around when all the flights are coming in. Because for instance, I live about 30 minutes from like a pretty busy airport. Like there's not a lot of airports around me. So if people are flying out, they're going to fly out of that airport. So I like to, you know, do airport rides because it's an easy 30 minutes to the airport. It's a pretty small airport. So it's not like you're sitting in traffic a lot. So you, you can make like 50 bucks there, 50 bucks back. You already, that's like a hundred bucks. Anyways, uh, check out Flight Aware, play around with it. The last one, Get Upside. This is one that actually you get paid money to uh, upload. Like it's not even, you don't even have to take a picture of your receipt anymore. I think because it's like tracked through the credit card. Anyways, you link your card up to Get Upside. And when every time you fill up gas, like as long as you, you check in and on the app and it's a qualified gas station, you can get cash back. So, um, hey, every dollar counts. Definitely check out, check the links out below to all these ones I'm talking about. And definitely check out the TikTok shop court, uh, community program that I created, whatever you want to call it. You can get free access right now. When the free access ends, it's only like at least right now, five bucks a month until the price goes up. And you can learn how to set up a TikTok shop account and start making really good money. Like literally you can start making thousand, two thousand, three thousand bucks a month just by making little videos on your phone. And I teach you all how to do it. So link below to that. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching guys. We'll talk soon.